Welcome home to St. Anne's. We want you to know that you're welcome to join us at 10 a.m. on Sundays. Please be sure to hit subscribe to receive our sermons. We can't wait to meet you. Um, As chaotic and bizarre as this gospel lesson is, I think it's perfect for this back-to-school season that we're in. Um, And I can only speak for myself, but did anyone else just love the feeling of a brand new notebook? Yes, right? Like, and I know, like, the good part of you should be like, well, you don't use all the pages the year before, so you should just keep that notebook and use it again. No. 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 And I'm a big hippie, but no. Because there is nothing more promising than a brand new notebook. Like you open it up and all the pages are clean and neat and they're crisp and they're fresh and it's a brand new beginning. And you get your new pencils, right? And new pencils and erasers smell amazing. Amazing. It's almost like the smell of a bookstore or new shoes. Like all, it's this new beginning feeling, right? It's all brand new. You can do anything with it. And there's some anxious stuff too because you got to fill that notebook with all sorts of stuff you don't already know. But there's an excitement in that, too. It's a brand new, fresh beginning. And so in this season, we are both excited and we're both really nervous, right? And so I love this, do not worry, little flock. Do not worry, little flock. Because what do we do when we feel worried? We cling to things. And that's what this reading then goes into, is this sense that... um, but we're afraid. We can't let go of stuff. And don't we do that when we feel anxious and nervous? We cling to things that we already know. We cling to our past. We cling to material possessions because we're not sure what's coming. So we hoard our stuff together and we hold it really, really tight. And that's what we're called to let go. The most important time to let go is when you want to cling. If you are clinging in fear, let go. Because trying to control fear is like nailing jello to a tree. It will splatter everywhere. It will ruin those new notebooks. And nobody wants that. Because like you drop, oh, no. We want perfect notebooks. And so as we get ready for this season, because um, those of us who are going back to school and teachers, we all feel the same way too. It's, It's the fresh notebook feeling. Like you put all that stuff in the shredder. Am I the only person who at the end of the school year shreds it? And then the kids come back, and you're, and you're like, uh, uh, hey. And they're like, remember that time? And I'm like, yeah, no. No, I don't. Because um, at the end of May, the beginning of June, I put that in the shredder. And I've had a long time to forget all your stuff. I have, which is probably a good thing, frankly. Um, you don't want me to remember your stuff. But it's a fresh, brand-new beginning. And I want even those of us who aren't going back to school to remember that feeling, to go back to that. Because what happens is we get so full of our stuff and our chaos that we lose that fresh, brand new feeling. That feeling that um, there's always something new to learn, that there's wonder in all of this. And so I want us to take a moment to go back and do that. Because what I have realized that we as humans do is we mess up our priorities. We get sucked into these little bitty things that we think are big deals and we fill our lives with these things that we think are really, really important, and they fill our, and they're little bitty things like, um, am I going to go to Sprouts this week, or am I going to go to Aldi's this week, or am I going to go to Hy-Vee? Oh my gosh, I've got to figure this out, because who has the best price on grapes, but who has chicken on sale? These are big decisions, people, right? And I fill my life and my world with these tiny little things that I have to worry about, and these tiny little things at work that I need to worry about. You want to know what? I have spent hours on 504s the last two weeks. Hours! And if you aren't familiar with what 504 is, thank Jesus. <laughs> he has been kind to you. You're welcome. They're horrible. Um, they're important, but they're horrible. That is not the purpose of my work. It is not. But guess what? All this paperwork and all this other stuff fills up my life. And don't you do that with your kids too? You fill it up with all this stuff. We got violin lessons, we got soccer lessons, we got this, we got this, right? And then suddenly 
you're not even sure what you're doing anymore. You're just running around crazy. And it's because we've filled it up with these tiny little things that seem really important and they're really, really anxiety producing. And then we've missed the really big stuff because we don't have time for it anymore. So I want us to do a small exercise and I'm hoping that my kids will come up here, our kids, I'm, they're mine. When they walk into this church, they're mine. You can have them back when you leave. But right now, they're mine. Um, and let's be honest, you're like, whatever, keep them. Um, so I'm going to ask them to come up here and help me because we're going to do a small exercise that I hope will speak to all of us. But as we start um, going back to school, I think this will be a good little lesson. I've got props. What's, I know, right? You're like, oh, it's like you almost prepared. No, it isn't like I prepared. Ask Laura what the, her morning was like. I did not prepare. All right, have a seat. There are some blocks. Okay. And there are beads. All right. This jar, it's your life. It's actually a vase, but it's what I could find. It's your life, right? And it's full of possibility, right? So we get to... Oh, you pessimist, you. Opportunity. Oh, well, let's fill it with stuff. All right. So we've got these beads. These are the little things, right? Can anyone think of what some of your little things are? Do you fill your life up? Soccer practice. Soccer practice. What about you? <laughs> Parents, don't forget, he has soccer practice tomorrow. Gymnastics. What? Gymnastics. Gymnastics. What do you have? Dance. So you guys have lots and lots of stuff. Violin. Violin. Drawing. So what are some of your guys' stuff that you fill your life up with? Eh, that's a bigger one. Grocery shopping. Grocery shopping. Yes. Right? Okay. So these itty bitty little things. Yes. So we fill our life up with them, right? It does sound like cereal. Don't eat it though. They are. All right. And then we've got some bigger things. They're a little bit more important than little things. Food is one for you. What? What? Flunk. Okay. Water. Okay. So what are some of your, what? Work. Work might be one for you. Flowers. Okay. So can I get it in there? I can get one in there. I might be able to get another one in there if I smush it. All right. Big things. Food. God would be. God. Say God. Say God. God. Jesus. Trees. Grandchildren. So family. What? The cross. Yeah. Us. It's our family and other people. I don't have a lot of room for it, do I? Let's see if I change my priorities here. Hold that for me. Because we're going to trust that I can pour these back in there. Ah, ah, uh, look, Christy's like, no, you can't. <laughs> she knows. Pour them all back in. We're going to start over our priority. All right. Oh, no, it's full of opportunity. Our children are pessimists. You know that? See, it's the most fun mindset. It is. All right. So let's, let, let's see if we put our big stuff in first. Food, water. Okay. So we said family. We said family. The earth. Food. The earth. Yeah. God. The cross. Right? Okay. So let's try some of our other important things. Each drill. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have work in there, maybe school. Yeah. School. Are those are ice cream cones. Yeah, why don't these? So I can get, I can get a few more of those in than I could last time, right? Flowers. I agree. Yeah, that was the pretty little flowers. All right, let's see if I can get any small things in there, because I've got all my big things. I've got some of my big ones. They're like, no, you didn't get them all in there, Meg. 
pack better. You want to know why Eric packs for vacation? This, this, he could get those all in there. Can you get some little ones in there? All right, you take my spot. Put some in. <laughs> an hour of screen time. Did you catch the parents? One hour. And my mom sometimes says an hour is too much. Woo, it is raining small things. <laughs> Whoever's in charge of cleaning this week, we'll get to it. It's all right, let me see what we've got. Hey, all right, let's stop for a second. One of these tiny ones is an hour. I like I like your priorities, man. Look at that. <laughs> One of the bigger ones is coffee. Look at that. When I set my priorities correctly, I can get a lot more in there, can't I? So as you guys start school, Ding, ding, ding. Is that what you're trying to say? That is what I'm trying to say. Oh, look at that. Ding, ding, ding. We've got a winner. So as we are going back to school and as you're starting all over again and as we're going to be cleaning up beads for Today years. All right. Let's, put, let's put our beads. <laughs> this just disintegrated into I'm not even sure what's happening anymore. All right. So as you guys go back to school, remember what your big things are. Put your big things first. And that goes for all of us. Remember what our priorities are. And when we have our priorities set, guess what? The other stuff fills in around the crevices. All right, you guys can go have a seat. Thank you, guys. Oh, we'll get it later. Oh, maybe, great idea. Take some beads with you. All right. Perfect. We want you to know that you're welcome to join us at 10 a.m. on Sundays. Please be sure to hit subscribe to receive our sermons. We can't wait to meet you.